In this video, we are going to look at the Bitcoin Taproot upgrade, what it is, how it works, and why it's such a big deal, because it's the first major upgrade to the Bitcoin network since 2017, and it's going live later this year. What's up guys, Dirk here from IntelligentCryptocurrency.com. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell. We are almost on 20,000 subscribers, so thank you if you are subscribed. If you are not yet subscribed, help us cross the line over there. Subscribe, click the notification bell, and if you wanna get on my email list, the link is in the description below. You can sign up there, and I will send you an email with important updates and every time I upload a new video. So before we get into today's content, just a quick note about our sponsor, Prime XBT, who have sponsored the channel for the month. They call themselves a next generation trading platform that allows you to trade global financial markets using Bitcoin, USDT, USDC, and more. And it's actually even possible to trade crypto, stock indices, commodities, and Forex from just a single account. So they were established in 2018, so they've been around for a while. They currently serve clients in more than 150 different countries, and they provide top-tier liquidity and a wide range of trading tools while maintaining security, liquidity, and enabling a safe trading environment for everyone. So if you want to check them out, you can create a free account with them today. It's the first link in the description below. If you use the voucher code Diggy50, you also get a deposit bonus all the details are below in the terms of conditions, so check that out if you want first link in the description below. Okay, so let's dive into the Bitcoin Taproot upgrade. First of all, before we do that, you need to understand there are some issues with Bitcoin, okay? So Bitcoin has become slow and expensive for everyday use. It's become too slow and too expensive for us to use as an everyday currency like people used to talk about it you know you can't actually use it as a currency to go and pay for a cup of coffee or to pay in a restaurant or anything like that because besides the fact that it's slow and, and can take 20 30 40 minutes to confirm the transaction it can also cost 10 15 maybe 20 dollars or even more just to pay for a transaction so if you're buying something that costs a little bit of money five dollars ten dollars you can end up paying more than the item in fees so bitcoin can't be used as a currency at this point in time. And that's, that's important and significant. So basically Bitcoin has become the store of value, something that you just buy like a digital format of gold. You buy it and you hold it and you hope it appreciates over time, right? But you can't really do much with it besides, you know, if you're gonna buy a house or a car or large, large purchases, sure. You know, for that purpose, it still really, really works, even though, you know, there is that that uh, delay in, in confirming transactions and the 10 or $20 fee. I mean, if you're transferring a million dollars, it's still super cheap and much faster than sending a bank wire, right? But for everyday currency stuff, that is a problem. And for a long time, they've been talking about a solution known as the Lightning Network. Now, the Lightning Network is supposed to focus on making transactions cheap and fast um, by utilizing side chains of various different things. I'll make a different video on that at some point in time. But Taproot is now another solution. So Taproot is something that is going to be a soft fork upgrade to the Bitcoin network as long as we have an agreement from the miners, which has been locked in. There's been 90% consensus. So it seems like Taproot is going to be activated later this year. Estimates are in November of 2021. So what is Bitcoin Taproot? And I will add all these links in the description below so you can check it out and learn more about it. But basically, Taproot is a soft fork to the Bitcoin network. And a soft fork basically just means an upgrade. It's not gonna split into another chain. It's not gonna create another format of Bitcoin. It's basically just an upgrade to the Bitcoin network. And it will improve the scripting capability and privacy. It enables something called MAST, which then can help make smart contracts more efficient and private by only revealing the relevant parts of the contract when spending. It can also improve privacy of the Lightning Network by making channels look like regular Bitcoin channels. So without getting into too much technical details about this, if you want, like I said, I will link to all these things down below so you can dive into that if you wanna learn how the tech works. But basically it is going to allow more privacy features to transactions on Bitcoin. So if you know anything about Bitcoin, you will know it's a giant public network and there is very little privacy. Of course, there's a pseudo anonymity, basically meaning you don't have, you know, a, a person's name or, um, or address or anything attached to their Bitcoin address. But if you know someone's address, you can see all the transactions 
belonging to that address. You can see the balance, you can see where they've received money from, and, and it's all very public. Now, Taproot is something that's going to change that by basically hiding or masking um, various components of the signature, the digital signatures, that make it much, much harder for anyone to see what's going on. And that is a major, major improvement. This is also a very good explanation of Taproot on the Binance Academy. Again, I will link to it below. Basically a summary of what is Taproot and how will it benefit Bitcoin. Along with Schnorr signatures, Taproot is one of the most anticipated technological upgrades to Bitcoin since the introduction of SegWit. Now, Taproot's goal is to change the way that Bitcoin script operate to improve privacy, scalability, and security. This and more will be made possible by combining Taproot with a related upgrade called Schnorr Signatures. So anyone familiar with the cryptocurrency community knows that privacy, scalability, and security are major concerns. While Bitcoin is the most popular cryptocurrency in the world, these issues still need to be addressed and Taproot aims to do just that. Taproot makes it possible to hide the fact that a Bitcoin script ran at all. So for example, spending Bitcoin using Taproot could make a transaction in a Lightning Network channel, a peer-to-peer -peer transaction, or a sophisticated smart contract become indistinguishable. Anyone monitoring one of these transactions would see nothing but a peer-to-peer -peer transaction. It is worth noting though that this doesn't change the fact that the wallets of the initial sender and final recipient will be exposed. Taproot is expected to be implemented along with other upgrades called Schnorr signatures. This not only makes Taproot's implementation possible, but enables a much anticipated feature called signature aggregation. So this is basically the summary here. So Taproot is going to bring major improvements to Bitcoin's privacy. And when it's combined with Schnorr signatures, Taproot may also boost efficiency when performing transactions. So besides enhanced privacy, other potential benefits include reduced amount of data to be transferred and stored on the blockchain, more transactions per block, and lower transaction fees. And another benefit to Taproot is the fact that signatures will no longer be malleable, which is a known security risk in the Bitcoin network. So essentially, this Taproot upgrade, which is going to be happening in November of 2021, if it continues to be on track like this, if nothing else changes, this is going to be a major, major upgrade for the Bitcoin network. And it is going to bring a lot more interesting abilities to Bitcoin rather than it just becoming, you know, a store of of wealth, a form of digital gold, and basically nothing that can be done with this. So this, once Taproot is activated, will really open up uh, the doors to a lot more innovation potential on Bitcoin, including smart contracts, privacy, all that kind of stuff, which again proves that, you know, Bitcoin is going to be here to stay for a long time. And to me, this really signals that Bitcoin can really maintain its dominance for a long time because if it was only going to be a digital store of wealth, you know, maybe over time as innovation catches up with other cryptocurrencies and projects and, and platforms and protocols, then, you know, Bitcoin might have gotten overtaken at some point. But if Bitcoin actually does achieve the ability to, to have smart contracts, to have privacy, to have fast and cheap transactions with Lightning or Taproot or whatever else is going to come in future, then it's going to make it so much more interesting. And I think this is just massive for the potential for Bitcoin for the future and for the potential price appreciation over the coming years. So hopefully you enjoyed this and you have a bit of a basic understanding of what Taproot is. It does get a lot more technical. So if you wanna know the ins and outs, I will link to all of these articles and further resources down below in the description so you can continue reading and learning more about how it all works under the hood. So thanks for watching guys. Smash the like button, leave a comment with your thoughts if you have any feedback or thoughts about Taproot and what the future of Bitcoin is going to hold. Let us know in the comments below. For the rest, have an awesome day and I will see you in the next video.